Evernote tasks changed a lot since the last time I published a video about it, and I thought it would be a good idea to share with you what's new, how it works nowadays. But we'll start doing that at the calendar, because the calendar also has something new. No, <laughs> not this. This. We now have a week view and a month view. I'm going back to the week view is the one I prefer. And now we can create a new task here because I have one thing that I want to show you. Maybe you already know that, but let's do it. Tomorrow. Add time, create task. Our tasks are now also visible on the calendar and you can check or, or uncheck them from here. But I also understand that for some people, this probably is not useful. They don't want to see the tasks here. And all you have to do is uncheck the tasks option from here and now they are gone. Okay. I'm going to select it back because this is how I like the calendar. And now let's go to the tasks view and take a look at this beautiful <laughs> full screen mode. I really love it, but I would like to see something similar to this little eye here. If we click here, we see this calendar pop up. I think it would be nice to have a tasks pop up somehow, maybe even a separate window for tasks. I don't know. The reason for that drawer was this. Let's go to the notes view and let's use the tags, which is the only one now that still had the only option that still has that drawer. So I can be working on the note and take a look. I used to be able to take a look at my tasks. And now the only option is tags, which by the way, I never understood why uh, it had this drawer style. The others I can understand, but tags, it, the full screen view was a much better option. And I, I guess this is Evernote's history. Each one of us has this vision of the perfect Evernote. So maybe have the eye here and, <laughs> and uh, I don't know, tags in full screen and the eye, which, okay, this is so crazy. I never thought about this. So now if we do that, if they do that, they would have to remove this the calendar doesn't have a create the create. Okay, let's not go into that rabbit hole. <laughs> let's go back to tasks. <laughs> For those of you who are new here, this is my recording account. So sometimes tasks and notes and notebooks, they don't make a lot of sense. Uh, I, although I try to keep it as similar as possible to the real account. Okay, let's start by taking a look at a new task feature. So we can now select a priority. So let's make this one high. Uh, and let's make this one medium. There is now an option to filter by priority, which is something that didn't exist in the past. So we can do something like this. But in my case, since my all my tasks, they have a due date, I prefer and I'm very careful with those due dates. I prefer to set them by date and I don't use priorities. But one thing I really love here on this new view is the notebooks tab. It didn't exist before, but of course we could filter by notebooks. I had some uh, widgets that would filter the tasks by notebooks and there was, and I, I'm almost positive we could filter, create, create a filter on the old task. No, I don't think so. Anyway, I was already using notebooks, but I didn't have a way to easily filter tasks by notebooks. And here's why I love this. For example, I have a notebook 
for my payments and all the payments are here, but I don't need to see this and I can collapse them. I usually see those tasks from here, but I'm, I, I always start Evernote on the Evernote homepage and the widget displays the tasks by due date. And this is where I follow up with my tasks, my upcoming tasks, so I can collapse some of the notebooks. Or maybe, who knows, I want to go through all the payments from here and I can collapse all the other options and just all the other notebooks and just check the tasks here. And then I can take a look at the clients, go through all of my clients' notebooks. I think you got the point. What I like here, let's use air quotes here, is that I can filter by notebook. It's kind of a filter because I can collapse some of the notebooks and, and, and see and work just on what I need to do at that moment. And I love that they brought the what I call Evernote building blocks to the tasks field. We, Evernote is so simple to understand. We have notes that live inside notebooks. Yeah, we do have stacks, but not even. <laughs> That's something kind of hidden. The, the real building blocks are notes inside notebooks. And by the way, uh, stacks is just a visual organization. If you delete a notebook, all the notes inside that notebook will be deleted. If you delete a stack, you're not deleting, you're just uh, unstacking. <laughs> you're just removing the notebooks from that stack. So it, it, it's pretty different. The, the building blocks are actually notes and notebooks. Okay, enough of that. Now, if we go to notes today and assign it, Let's go back to notes. Here's something new. There is a plus sign here, and all these tasks, of course, are inside this node, and I can click here to create a new task inside that node. New inside car. Okay, let's make this, I don't know, 25th. And create task. And if we go to that node, all new tasks, when you create it from outside the node, they will always be added to the bottom of that node. Okay, so here it is. Let's go back to tasks. Now, if we go to this three dots here, all the options here are the same. And as you can see, the first one there is not selected, not checked. So I'm not seeing the notes shared with me. But before we click there, I want to talk about this. There are two ways to share tasks. You can assign just a task or you can assign the task and share the note. My point here is how to share information when you are assigning tasks. So I'm going to check this. And, and by the way, I think this should be show shared, show tasks shared with me, not notes, because yeah, you wonder, you soon understand. So now I have this task that I shared with this account from my other account. And as, let's go to assigned. So as you can see here, uh, my other self assigned this to me. And here I have this note not available because I only shared the task, assigned the task to this person. That person assigned me to my, <laughs> this is so confusing. <laughs> my, uh, let's, let's call it that, my real account, my everyday account shared, uh, uh, assigned a task. Uh, and this is pretty useful if you just want to ask someone to do something, but you don't have to share the entire note, all the information with that person. However, sometimes you'd like to give that person some context. And this is when 
a description comes in handy. I just added a description to the other account and here it is. You know what to do. And to be fair, I didn't see this as something useful, the description box, when Federico first shared uh, that concept, this new concept on Twitter. But yeah, it is useful. And if we click here, here it is. The description box is right here. My problem with this at that time, and and, and to some extent, it, I still see it as a problem. It, it's kind of having a note inside a note because we have tasks inside notes and now we have a note that is inside a task that is inside a note. But I guess it makes sense. By the way, let's try something here that I never tried. Yeah, <laughs> that's text that doesn't exist to the search. See, this is what I mean. Yeah, let's not go <laughs> there. <laughs> okay, there is one last thing I want to show you. If we click here the calendar eye, there is the new task here. Of course, if we go, let's clean this. Uh, if we go to the calendar, we, we already know that there is, uh, we can create a task from there and there is also a task here. So all these options here, here, and here will always create a task on your default note, your default tasks note. This didn't change, but as a reminder, let's go back to tasks, three dots, default tasks note, we can choose a different note here to be our default task note. Okay, this is it for this one. If I forgot anything, and I'm sure I did, please leave a comment to help our community. And if it was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider joining my Patreon, becoming a YouTube member, or buying me a coffee. Thanks for watching. See you soon.